Hi everybody, it's Dondi Dolan and I am here at the Alcott House in Concord, Massachusetts. You probably remember studying Louisa May Alcott in school and you probably learned that she wrote the book Little Women in the 1800s. But there is so much more and I am just wondering why history classes have to be so lame in junior high and high school why we're taught by teachers who don't care about history, who are usually football coaches, who read to us from the book and make us memorize dates and names of white men who were soldiers. It just burns me up because history does not suck. History is amazing. Wouldn't, have, wouldn't it have been more interesting for you to know that the Alcott's fought to abolish slavery, that they fought to get women the right to vote, that they fought for indigenous people, that they fought for prisoners, that they gave food to homeless people. And this was in the 1800s when they were very, very poor. And in fact, they were so different than the people and the, the people in society during the 1800s in Massachusetts, that they were sort of blacklisted from many towns. They moved 29 times in 30 years. Wouldn't that have been really interesting to know instead of just that Louisa May Alcott was the author of Little Women? Wouldn't it have been interesting to know that their house was on the Underground Railroad? that the father, the Alcott father, wanted independence and freedom for his daughters. And in the 1800s, when women weren't supposed to be able to really read or write, they could read or write, but they had to keep it a secret, that he built Louisa May a desk so she could write, that they gave her her own bedroom because they felt that was important, that he was adamant about giving kids recess in schools when all other teachers at the time were saying that kids had to sit at desks and memorize facts. Wouldn't this have been more interesting? Wouldn't it have been interesting to know that they were vegans, that they didn't want to use animal labor or slave labor, so they almost starved because they refused to eat anything made by slave labor? Wouldn't that have been more interesting? So when you think of Louisa May Alcott now, think of her and her family. Think of her sister May, who was a prolific artist, whose paintings got accepted into Paris, into the Salon, even when Mary Cassatt's paintings didn't. Think about this family who was so forward thinking, they were transcendentalists, and oh my gosh, Someone, anyone who's listening to me, if you're a teacher in school, if you're a history teacher, I hope you're bringing it alive. I hope you're bringing it alive for the kids because history doesn't suck. So that's the Alcott House and I'm gonna turn so you can see this road, which you can probably hear because it's a little bit loud. That road is a very significant historic road where the British marched right past the Alcott House. This house was built in the 1600s. They marched right past this house in 1775 and started with common farmers. The battle that began the revolution and uh, our freedom in the United States. And truly, it, it's not put past some of us that on this road that men walked out the door with their guns and said goodbye to their wives and kids and and mothers it's not put past some of us that they were fighting for freedom and they were slave owners that's a whole other story but wouldn't it be more interesting to learn about that in school okay everyone history doesn't suck bye bye